Okay, hi everybody. Welcome to another video by me. This is the MIUI. This is the newest version of it. It's 1.28.1. A uh, lot of updates since the last ROM that I showed you. Um, one of the nice little things... Oh, got a text message there. One of the nice little things about this is now they added custom transitions between screens. So that's pretty neat. You could custom transition between screens that's pretty nice that's one of the updates you can actually go here in the menu and change your transitions right here really easy um, maybe you want to do a 3d cube that's what I'm doing right now um, take the fall down off go to the 3d cube hit the back button and then you have the 3d cube spin very very smooth very very nice a lot of good upgrades to this particular ROM going on right now Next thing to show you guys is this player app, the music player app. Good thing we're stuck on it. And basically, the nice thing about this app is if you have CD text, um, it'll actually come up with the words of the song as you're watching it. Now go figure, this particular one doesn't actually have it. Let's flip through some... Uh, don't mind my music choice. These are all the free MP3s that I get through Amazon. They, they download free ones. You notice, it actually uh, has all the words of the songs right on here. And as it plays, it'll it'll read through the words of the song with the song, so you can actually sing along if you wanted to. That's kind of neat. It's one of the neat things about the Music Player app in MIUI. Um, a lot of the fancy widgets right here. This is the new fancy widget. Let me show you. It's almost like the HTC Sense Clock. If you go back into it, notice the, uh, the clouds that come across. Sort of like HTC Sense. HTC Sense has that as well. Um, this is called the MIUI clock under fancy widgets. Um, there's actually two different versions of it. There's a wintertime one. I actually really like this particular version on this one. Um, also, there's a bunch of themes that now, now you can get for this. Uh, when you download the ROM for your Incredible, it's going to come with Theme Manager and Theme Downloader. And one of the nice things in Theme Downloader is you could download a whole bunch of themes and you go into Theme Manager and you can actually apply those themes the ones that you downloaded. So there's a whole bunch of cool little different themes that you could put on here. There's cartoon, there's paper, there's, I mean, anything you could possibly imagine. I have this squared one off. I think it looks kind of neat. I used to have the rounded one. Now I'm, now I'm to the squares. Really like that. Um, so there's a lot of cool things going on with this ROM. A lot of things that I, I did miss about, you know, HTC Sense was the HTC flashlight, and you know that app isn't actually on here. But there's a little, there's a couple little, uh, you know, ways to solve that particular problem. The first way is there's this little widget you could download, and it gives you, of course, you know, you just put that right on your desktop. It's called Torch. Um, also up in here, they actually put it. If you go into the phone itself, from the pull down menu, there's a whole bunch of different little options that you could do. You could pull down. You could set up your, you know, turn on your Wi-Fi, turn on, turn on, off and on your data, your rotation, your backlight, your volume. It's all within this little thing in your pull-down menu, which is kind of neat and kind of different compared to the other, you know, ROMs that are out there right now. You can also do down clock your CPU so you get better battery life. The battery life on this is spectacular. Getting back to it, Torch is in here. Torch is not as bright. It only lights really one of them up to its full max, but it's in there, and that's something that you really if you're looking for it and really enjoyed the HTC uh, flashlight that's in there as well and as you can see they made some great refinements to this ROM it's really really amazing they're doing a really really good job just to show you some other things you can add pretty much infinity amount of screens on here you just go in here and you can press plug plus plus and you can have a whole bunch of different screens you can X out of them just as easy as you made them by going like that adding widgets I didn't show, really show this you just hold down on the screen or you can go into editing mode through the menu. Two different ways of doing it. You hold down on your icons. Your icons pop up. Then when your icons pop up, you can grab whatever widget you want. Find the window that you want. You can actually move it to any one of these windows. Of course, is a 4-1, and that's the only one it'll fit to. And then your favorites come up. la di da di da Just giving you a, a quick overview of the new MIUI 1.28.1. This is amazing ROM. Uh, they had a bunch of M... MS messaging problems. You couldn't get video or picture messages, but they did fix that. Um, they fixed, fixed a lot of issues with the phone. Uh, I think Bluetooth is still having a little bit of an issue, but basically everything runs great. And like I said, the battery life on it. 
unbelievable. It actually is an incredible phone now with with the uh, the ROM man with this new ROM on here. And just so you guys know, this ROM is ridiculously fast. There's some great tools to test how fast your speed is. If you go in the quadrant, you can see that when you're running a full benchmark on this particular ROM, this is one of the fastest ROMs that I've seen. I mean, it'll push past 2.2 Motorola Droid X. It really speeds up the, the phone a lot. I really enjoy it. The frames per second, the gaming's more enjoyable on it. Um, so let's go through this little ROM here once you're this little benchmark test so you guys can see for yourself how much it actually improves. Um, I'll show you two more quick things where the uh, app killer is in it and uh, another quick thing where you hold in the back button and it ki uh, kills out the app for you once we get in there. Um, right now it's running through this test. Like I said, this thing always used to do, if you notice we're in the 30s and 40s here, this only used to do in the 20s for me when I was running HTC Sense, so it really sped it up. This only used to do 9 frames per second for me when I was running HTC Sense with the latest update. Now it's doing 15. Is that me spitting on the phone? Yeah, look at that. I spit on the phone. I was so excited about it. And I still had Torch on this whole time. I didn't even realize it because I put the phone down. What an idiot I am. Getting back to it. Sorry, the application has to force close. Well, here, prime example that nothing is perfect. Obviously, it showed you how fast it can crash an application, and I can spit on the phone. Uh, two more quick things really quick. Let's go back here. If you're running a bunch of applications, one of the nice things is this actually has its own app killer in it, so you don't need advanced app killer. You just hold in the, the menu button. Shows the previous recent apps, but also if you notice there's a little app killer button here. You can push this, kills out your apps, tells you how much space you freed up there right now. So that's kind of nice. Also, if you go into an app itself, let's go into a uh, calendar here. Basically, that's the calendar that popped up. I got a very busy schedule coming up. And if you hold on, down on the back button, it will successfully close out the calendar and it won't be running in the background. So two really great things.